start, start. Welcome back to Suladan Plays Azuriel Circle. Last time we completed chapter one. This time we shall begin chapter two. Also, chapters two, three, and four are on Steam. Uh, the developer was very nice and alerted me to this fact when I made mention of it in the Game Jolt client. Um, they are on Steam and itch.io. Uh, quote, I'd just fallen considerably behind in updating my Game Jolt page, so I wanted to at least get the first one up here. Uh, and I'd like to add them to Game Jolt, but there's tax forms to sort out. And currently working on the fifth and final chapter, and I expect it to be done sometime this summer. So yes, we, uh, I, at least I am looking forward to that. And, you know, if you're watching this, I hope you're looking forward to it too. You know, or I hope you're enjoying what you've seen thus far. Either way, uh... Azuriel Circle, Chapter 2, 3, and 4 will follow. Uh, and uh, they're going to be in the same playlist as Chapter 1. I'm just going to kind of treat it as one game as far as the playlists go. Because having a separate playlist for each one might be a little silly when they are, uh, you know, not 5, 10, 20, etc. episode long games like the, uh, you know, the Penumbra series I did in separate playlists because they're, you know, larger games and there were more videos and, you know, for, uh, you know, organizational sake, you generally keep them separate. Although I would adore it if YouTube had a way to make a playlist of playlists, but uh, I don't think it allows that kind of nesting. At least I haven't seen that ability as of yet. Uh, there are a lot of organizational things I would love to see the ability to do on YouTube that we can't currently do. Also, this time, I got the big light on, so hopefully uh, my shoulder doesn't just kind of invisibly blend into the uh, curtain behind me. Ah oh, yes, moving blanket allows allows much more controlled lighting instead of the curtains sending that blinding light through. I also have the game audio muted for the moment because the title screen was uh well, it would have been weird it had been, it'd been a little harder to listen to me and the music screen title screen music at the same time through all this. But in any case, we are going to go ahead and get started, so I'm going to unmute it. I should also unmute my headset. Muting the recording audio does not mute my audio. I have to mute them both. Uh if I want to actually speak without the music still playing. And muting them both helps me to remember if I uh, mute one and not the other. Bad things happen involving forget. And we don't want that to happen any more than we should, so yeah. All the audio is in place. All the video is in place. Also, for some reason, the game window border is showing on this one. I've kind of scooched it around... I put that one a little too far. There we go. I've scooched it around so that, you know, it's all on screen, but I've got the border over on the right side, uh, you know, hidden under the webcam, and then the border on the top and bottom should be to pixel precision. Yay for OCD. Um, every pixel of the game window is visible. The, bo the border is the only part that's clipped off on the sides. And I think, actually, they're... Uh, come to think of it, is it? See, there's a way I could I, I could finagle with it and. Well, now I want to do that. S see, this is what happens when you give me this kind of power. I just remembered there is a. I can uh, I can crop. And it's even zooming it for me. Well, ain't that fancy. Again, you shouldn't have trusted me with this kind of power. And now... Uh, transform... Fit to screen. Center to screen. And then from there... I know this is just such a joy to watch, isn't it? You know, without more on the screen than the text box, it's a little hard to see, to uh, line it up. So, uh, I missed his name. Whoops. Uh, just pretend that I read his name. Private investigator from Chicago in the good old USA. It's so much more fun to call it USA. I blame Alien News Desk for alerting me to that fact. Anyway, I recently took a job from a man called Birch. There were a number of teens that went missing, and the police were too busy to look into it. Uh, that's, that's, they're, they're not doing their job then. At least that's what they claimed. Yeah, the Chicago police are pretty busy. 
Chicago is a very weird place. It's the only place I know of. Well, it's the only place my family has personal experience of uh, saying hi to somebody and then pulling a knife out because they think you're trying to mug them. Because they're not used to the... Apparently, at least some people up there are not used to the concept of a stranger saying hello as you pass them on the street. Well, sidewalk. You don't actually pass people on the street generally while walking unless you're, like, on a crosswalk and walking faster than them, I guess. Anyway, Birch said that he was doing it out of the goodness of his heart, but I don't believe that for a second. He probably had something to do with the whole thing, but that's not my problem. I was paid to find out what happened to them and report back. And that's all I plan to do. Nothing more. Nothing less. Funny how things work out, though, isn't it? I tracked the last whereabouts of the teens to an old apartment complex that was seemingly abandoned. And yes, I know my voice acting is terrible. I arrived on the street and... I turned into a pixel. Pixely art thing. That is not the window I wanted to move. Move that window. There we go. See, now you're going off screen a little bit, and it makes me nervous. Why? Why? Because you just... Oh, because I didn't tell you to fit to the screen. I just told you to center it. That is not what I wanted. There we go. This is how we learn. We push buttons until something explodes. If it hasn't exploded yet, you're not doing it right. This must be the place. The guy I spoke to wasn't wrong. This place really is a dump. Nobody could have. Nobody could still live here, could they? Live. <laughs> Funny. Well, we'll see if those teens are still alive. Got everything? Gun, check, ammo. Just about. Only six bullets left. Can't see myself running into too much trouble that I can't talk my way out of. I'll stock up again on the way home. I suppose I'll start in the lobby. You are a very odd investigator. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forget the. Hang on. Let's see if I can remember. Yeah, I can click or I can use the mouse and I meant the, the arrows and whatnot, which I think is what I did last time. Can't get in here. It's secured by a tough chain. Model 59 pistol that Don Edison carries with him at all times. It's standard ammunition for Don's gun. I'm gonna save. There's no sprint. I've got a job to do. I can't leave just yet. Oh, yes, you can. It would not be very professional of you, but you can. Wrong way. It's the building right beside me. Hmm. It's the mailboxes for the apartment. They're all open and empty, but 401 is still locked. Ooh. <gasps> that makes me happy. Nobody here to supervise the building? I love the little dingy things. Why is there an amethyst? in the trash can that can be magically broken apart and reassembled. <laughs> Amethyst fashion of the... You know what? Why not? The eyes have it. Nothing, nothing spooky about that in green and yellow paint. Looks like a crowbar. I'm gonna get sued for damages, so I'll avoid using it to bust open. That looked like a chicken. The little thing on the floor right there. That is clearly a chicken. Various tools, presumably used to keep the building in uh, working order. It's like an old fruit. I don't recognize it. Must be an import from one of those eastern countries. I'm just gonna pretend it's a dragon fruit because it has that reddish color and makes me think of them. 22nd of August, 19. Uh, dragon fruit are delicious. 22nd of August, 1980s. Well, delicious is subjective. Your taste may vary. I enjoy them. 22nd of August, 1986. I don't know why I'm still hired to maintain this horrible building. It needs to be completely renovated, and I can only do so much without any team to help. If I wasn't being paid so well, I'd have long since quit. I think it's because of that addict upstairs. I'm fairly sure he's connected to one of the owners. 27th of August, 1986. Another day, another full bag of that sculptor's chip stone to remove. What sort of place is this to be a sculptor in? What an idiot. I'm forever cleaning up after that Derek. Yes, Derek. That is apparently what we call people that you have to clean up after. You just wanted to, to wedge his name in there, didn't you? Hmm. Just in case somebody else came and read the diary that wouldn't know what you're talking about, because generally in your journal slash diary you wouldn't need to be super specific like that, but 29th of August, 1986, that does it. I'm quitting at the end of September. I stepped on a used needle yesterday and had to get checked over my doctor. I'm done with this pl this pace. This pace. 
this place. I'm done with this place. I've finally had enough. Sound like the janitor was mopping up more than just spills. Can I have a mop? Seems to be a regular old bucket. I want to put the mop in the bucket, though. Then it can evolve to its true form. Bucket mop. Door isn't locked, but somebody managed to jam it. I'm sure this crowbar will do the trick. Got it. Let's see what's in that. I, I didn't want... No, I don't like this place. There's needles everywhere. Ah, don't step on it. You know, that, 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 that's uncomfortable. Empty pill bought drug money. It's just a typical sink. Money! Is that a key under the couch? It hurts. A thousand needles into your arm will have that effect. This couch is filthy. Must belong to some dirty layabout before the place was abandoned. But there's a key under it. Maybe it's not a key. Dead guy. Hey, dead guy. This sad guy died in a pool of his own vomit. It smells horrible. The spoon looks brown and burnt. Why did you burn a spoon? You must have been high off your rocker. You in here burning spoons. There's another empty pill bottle in this hole of an apartment. 27th of September. The lights dance on the ceiling if I stare at them too long, and the sunlight burns when it shines through the window. It gets so cold unless I'm in my happy place. 29th of September. I keep seeing my father walking in and out of the building. What's he doing here? Does he want me to come home, or has he come to laugh at me? 2nd of October. The shadow children are here to claim my soul. I know that's why they're here. Little children as black as night with those red eyes that glow in the darkness. 3rd of October. I saw them again. Is it because I took the gem from that artist room? I got rid of it. I locked it. One of the washing machines downstairs. I used today's date as the combination. Maybe the shadow children will be too busy trying to break into that and leave me alone. 4th of October. They're back. They're back again. I can't make them go away. It must have been the gym. The walls and floor changed to flesh and there was blood all over the wall floor. Need to take another hit. Maybe I do. They'll finally go away. Oof. Poor guy. I couldn't tell the difference between reality and figment at the end. Money. Darren. Is that the guy in the other room or is it somebody else entirely? Why are there piles of cash everywhere? Filled with all sorts of substances from the less pleasant areas of the body. Seems like some sort of relaxant. It make. I, I don't know. Is that the shower running? Blued. Wasn't like this before. Why is there blued in the shower? There should not be blued in the shower. The shower should not be full. Well, it's a tub, but still. Wait, why did we call that a shower? That is a tub. I mean, unless it's a tub and shower, which it did not look like. Piano. Ooh, a green thing. Is this an emerald? Various musical compositions have been written and discarded. Seems to me the five keys have been highlighted. Which should I press? Three. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Something clicked. Five. Two, five. Two, five, four, one. Stop moving. Two, five, four, one. Two, five, four, one, five. Two, five, four, one. I don't know. Three. Two. 
two five. I, I don't know. I'm stubborn. Two five four one one. How many button? Five, four, one, one. I lost track. I, oh, whatever. I'll come back for you. Oh, hello, dead guy. Who's this? His ID says Andrew Bach. Why does everybody named Bach seem to die? Horrible music related. I don't know. I don't know how Bach died, actually. You know what? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I lost track of where I was going with that. My compositions are a mess these days. My latest piece went down horribly in Old Monty's Jazz Bar. piano in a jazz bar hmm. so I think it won't be too long before I lose another job the only thing that keeps me going is the increasingly depraved acts the hookers are allowing me to do <laughs> in case my girl ever finds this place I've hidden my chains inside my old piano when they're not in use I've got it set to I've got it set to open after pressing a specific key order start on two Go up three, down one, down three, repeat the key, up two, up two, and down three. I had to pay that equally unsuccessful artist upstairs to help me set this up. Why didn't he become an engineer? He's better at that. This building seems to attract the worst individuals. Can't wait to get back into the swing of things again. A rigged piano? This girl needs to just read the book he left up here to know what he gets up to. Okay, hang on. Hello, sticky notes. So we've got two, five, four... One, one, three, five, two. And then, you know, if I'm wrong, we'll be, we'll be back. Two, five, four, one, one, three, five, two. There's a chain inside. That's not exactly... So, you know, having a chain is not generally a weird thing. It depends on what you're doing with the chain. Or at least, I mean, I live out in the woods, so we got a lot of chains for, like, winches and, you know, pulling up trees and dragging stuff around. But, uh... You know, I, I know what they're referring to, in theory. Yay! Another. I mean, I guess it is a tub if that bell up on the wall is meant to be a shower head. Not a big fan of showers that don't have a uh, protection on the walls, though. The humidity's bad for either wallpaper, paint, etc. You know, you generally... I like the ones that kind of... They, they have the full fiberglass protective shell around to keep the walls... You know, protect. Do I really want to go in there? I mean, isn't there a uh, washing machine down here with a gym in it? <laughs> Who locks a washing machine? Oh, I don't remember the day. Wasn't it? He said he used today's date. I just assumed October uh, 1987. Third of October, nineteen eighty-six. Third of October, nineteen eighty-six. You know, there's a few different ways that could be interpreted in a four-digit combination. I mean, uh, the 3rd of October, 1986, how are we denoting that into a four-digit combination? 
October's 10th. I would have thought it'd be five digits, then it'd be 3, 10, 86. This is one of those examples where the puzzle is a little overly ambiguous. Or it may just be my sense of logic, uh, but you've got 3rd of October, 1986. Today's date is the combination. Well, how are we defining today's date in this context? I'm just going to stick that in a sticky note. That way I don't want to keep running up here. Um, third of October, I saw them again is because I took the gym. Uh, I got rid of it. I locked it in the washing machine downstairs using today's date as the combination. Today's date in that is the third of October, 1986. just gonna have to come back to that because that's not really wanting to play nice uh, I can't see a thing in here red eyes red eyes I'll have to come back later if I can get some sort of light the background music was very ominous anybody in there no way man I'm safe if I stay in here only hurt you if you give me a reason to, otherwise we'll both be just fine. That's not very reassuring, Mr. Whoever you are. You're trying my patience, kid. Just leave me alone. I'm not coming out and you're not coming in. Look, I'll be straight with you while I'm here. My name is Don Edison. You call me Don. I'm a private investigator looking into the disappearance of five teenagers. The police aren't doing anything, so I was hired by a benefactor. What's your name, son? Your name. Marcus. Not another Marcus. <laughs> Marcus, what can you tell me about the teens who went missing? You found one of them, but you'll not find all five. Why do you say that? Robbie's dead, man. Stabbed himself right in the face. Right in the face, man. I'm not even kidding. Sorry to hear it, kid. Must have been pretty horrible to see. Let me in and we can talk. I don't know. How can I convince you? <laughs> not seen much activity in the building if it makes you feel any better. Seems pretty quiet right now. Fine, I'll let you in. You'll have to go grab the key yourself. What are you talking about? I panicked and threw it out the window when you knocked on the door. Yeah, of course you did. All right, I'll see if I can find it. It's at least more productive than me scrambling about with the... Hello, key. The combination to that lock. I'm lucky it didn't land behind the fence. 3rd of October, 1986. You know, logically, with a four-digit combination... Yeah. S smells horrible in here. I've been trapped in here for days, man. Toilet doesn't work? Blocked. Why didn't you try to leave? You could have ran out or jumped out the window if you couldn't leave by the door. It isn't that big of a drop. You don't know what I what's out there. If it finds me, I'm toast. Tell me everything from start to finish. Don't turn me into the cops, swear. I'm armed, you're not. You don't have any bargaining power right now. Get talking. Jeez, man, you're hardcore. Stop talking like that. Just tell me the story. It all started when Andrew was given this crazy old book. It had a... Some sort of magical ritual to summon a demon named Azuriel. Azuriel? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, man, the book said that he lives in, uh, lives in the pit and all. And it, hmm. I'm trying to think about a name for that. Anyway, he lives there and can possess people and all that crazy stuff. I mean, I think it did. It was in some bizarre language and I had no idea how to translate it. Andrew showed me the book and I thought it'd be cool if we tried it out. Sure, he'll just hand you a nuclear bomb and you'll say it'd be fun to try it out too, I bet. 
there are certain things where common sense would say, don't mess with it. Even if it's fake, it's just better not to go poking with certain things. Just to mess with our friends, you know, it was meant to be a prank. It was me, Robbie, Lydia, Andrew, and Gregory. Why here? We knew the place was mostly abandoned and didn't want anybody showing up. Went to the top floor because there's a couple of people that live downstairs. How do you think it looks if we're doing a stupid satanic ritual, even if it was just as a prank? It doesn't look good at all. Most decent folks make sure you never showed your face in these parts again. Exactly, man. So he did the ritual and something weird started happening to Robbie. He was screaming like crazy. He grabbed his knife from his pocket and just started jamming it into himself. He kept yelling for something to get out of his head. When Robbie did that, a deep voice came from the circle and told us that he was here to stay. We knew immediately we'd messed up real bad. We bolted for it, got separated, and I hold myself up in here. And where are the others? I never saw them leave, and I was the first down the stairs. I've been keeping an eye on the window, man. I don't know how Lydia's taking it. She's fragile at the best of times. Yeah? Smart idea. Bringing a fragile girl to a ritual to make her think you're summoning a demon. Well, Lydia and Robbie were twins, man. I don't know what could be going through her head. This is quite a mess. Are you going to keep looking around? Yeah, I'll let myself in and out of here. I'll keep it locked so you're safe and pick you up when I'm ready to leave. Okay. First, I'm going to snoop around your apartment, though. Hmm. Well, I'm going to take the... I'm going to take your flashlight. 2nd of October, 1986. I can't believe what we did. How could we be so stupid? Why mess with demonology? I didn't believe it would work, man. I should have just left it alone. 3rd of October. I can't sleep. I can't even focus to write much down. I keep hearing clawing noises at my door and keep seeing strange shadows underneath. How do I get out of here and far, and far away in the blink of an eye? I don't even have the courage to leave the room. Dare I jump from the window? 4th of October. There's only so much canned food I can take. There's also only so much left. It may last me another week or so, and I may last another week after that. Is anybody coming for me? You'd last a bit more than a week, but, you know. Assuming you have a supply of fresh water two to three weeks, you know, eventually your body's going to start, you know, digesting itself so to preserve. But anyway, 5th of October. The pen is running out of ink. Great. If anybody finds me in a body nearby, it's probably me finds these in a body nearby. My name is Marcus Livingstone. I can't believe it, man. What a way to go. I'll get you out of here, kid. I've dealt with murderers, rapists, and child molesters. This paranormal stuff is nothing compared to some of the punks out there in reality. What about the cabinet? It's just an old closet. Marcus wasn't lying. It is blocked. Hmm. Well, that was useful. Hey, man, I just snooped around your apartment a bit. Don't mind me. He must have been bored silly. The TV is broken. Actually, what's over here? A couple of plates and an unopened can of baked beans. I couldn't open it, man. What was I supposed to do? Try stabbing it with the key. It's a bottle of bleach. I'm surprised he didn't drink it when he's this, while he's this scared. Can he hear my thoughts? Found the artist's room. Statue of a lion. It looks it has holes holes where its eyes should be. So, insert the emerald eyes. Yes. Why is there why is there a weeping angel? Why is there a weeping angel in this room? I don't trust you. Statue of a lion, amethyst eyes. Just smile. My masterwork is complete. Four identical eyes that require four different eyes. I've rigged them so inserting the correct eyes into the lines will release an energy source. Temporarily used batteries, but I'll replace it with a better energy source to keep my metaphor going. I guess with enough trial and error, anyone could guess the order, but who has the time? The correct order is... Lake, grass, lavender, and fire. I'll keep this a reference for myself. Blue, green, purple, red. In case I forget while I'm away on my trip. Interesting. Using stone lines to store batteries with a variety of gems to release the batteries. What jerk comes up with this sort of thing? Indeed. Don't, 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 don't you mess with me. At least we know it's not a weeping angel. Weeping angels keep their faces covered. Door is locked. Door is locked. Thank goodness. 
The door is locked. Yay. The only thing left at the current moment. Oh, 3rd of October, 1986. 3, 10, 6. Ten eighty six three ten nineteen eighty six. Like you're you're being overly vague when you say used today's date. Define today's date in a I like the format there. Yeah, I just realized what is probably the problem. Okay, the journal read 3rd of October, 1986. Because it was, because of the way it was written with the, the numbers and the month, I forgot. We'd have normally said October 3rd, 1986. Watch, it'll be 10.03. Look, a ruby. Because I kept, I made a bad prim assumption of the for the premise. I assumed that the format that the journal was written in had to be the exact order that I needed, and it was not. A fire goes here. So somewhere in the building is a set of blue eyes. Oh, was he not doing that before? Hey, now the clown is smiling. Wasn't he sad before? Yeah, I, I don't know. Clearly something changed there. So somewhere in the building is uh, the... set of blue eyes. Uh, huh. That four. Four oh one is locked. Oh, I thought maybe that would be useful information uh, for the current juncture. Hmm. Looking for a set of blue eyes. Uh, this is the guy that locked the the red eyes in the safe downstairs. I mean, in the washing machine downstairs. This guy had the chain.
Hmm. It wouldn't have, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if the blue eyes were somewhere in here. sink. There we go. Yay, now we can use the flashlight. Was it downstairs? Okay. Can go in now that I got a bit of light. Hi, Spookums. <laughs> Do you know Steven? Stay away. Will you stay with us? I'm in trouble. I'm in pain. Okay, Azuriel's influence lets us come back. We all died a long time ago. Okay, this is a little, um, there must be five. I'm so cold, don't leave. Let's get the mouse pointer off of there. Gregory is dead. There's a lot more than five of you here, mister. There must be five. Where's my mommy? It would have been a little more clever if you actually used a smaller sprite for that one, but, you know. I roam the halls when nobody is watching. There's a glint of metal reflecting in the torchlight. Can't fit my arm. Hook chain. Got it. Looks like a key. It seems to be the key to 301. Filthy and disgusting. Wait, there's something marked faintly on the grime. How do the write so tiny? Reversed, reversed, reversed. It's if only you could read my voice instead of hear it. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Then you might understand all my warnings. Who wrote this and what are they talking about? Is it the weird shadow children? Couldn't be. Just what are these things? Basically, it's saying read what they said backwards, but you know. One theory would be that there are six, six of these that have to be shot and other ones that are harmless. I don't know. 301. Actually. Just a typical sink, not worth my time. Just a typical apartment so far. You notice everything but the bed. Oh, hi. Are you the fragile one? Yep. Robbie dead, stab face. Yep, you're broken. You're the one that needs the relaxants, aren't you? Hmm. Yeah, you must be Lydia. They told me you were broken. Mother, father, forgive us. Have you even noticed I'm here? Zuriel, real. Stranger here. I'll need to find something to calm her down, even if it's just temporary. Yes, give her the relaxants. Take this! Ugh. Better? Uh, who are you? I'm Don Edison. I'm investigating what you and your friends were doing with that ritual, and I just shoved relaxants into your face. I'm in so much trouble. Maybe, but you're still alive. My brother is dead. What will my parents think? I know it's tough right now, and I'm sorry for your loss, but if there's anything you know that could help my investigation. I have the key to the room. What room? The room where it all started. You said you did it on the roof. The roof is not room. I mean, they're one letter apart. I will grant you that. Please go see. This key is for apartment 402. All right, but I'll be back soon. We're not done here yet. I'm just gathering up all these keys. As soon as I turn my back, she's going to explode. But it's a bit too late for that. Sorry. Compulsive saving. 
Well, that's an ominous room. What? Where's the door? Am I losing my mind? How do I get out of here? If I walked through that far door, then surely I'd fall to my death. Job is much more trouble than it's worth. Nope. I came through a different door that... Please, do not be non-Euclidean. I mean, I love non-Euclidean geometry. Don't get me wrong. But I'm gonna get lost. When properly implemented in a game, it can be amazing. So it wants me to go forward through the what is obviously wall, because there's a person in here. Hello, friend. What of you again? There's no need for that. I'm here to help. <sighs> north, east, west. North, east, south. East, north, and finally north. So hang on. Up, right, left, up, right, down, right, up, and up. Okay. Now, does it mean from here? I'm going to assume yes. Up, right, or it could mean, nope. It could also mean from here, in which case up, right, left, up, right, down, right. You notice that room had a, uh, had a down, up. Okay, so I think this may count as the starting room. So right, left, up, right, down, right, up, up. Ah, which brought us to the apartment we were trying to get to. This must be Robbie. He really did stab him in the face with a knife. Stealth in the face with a knife. That about sums up this job now, doesn't it? Kid being killed by demons and little kids covered in shadows haunting the place. Not my average day at the office, but I was at least warned there'd be some weird stuff. Azuriel. That's definitely the name Birch told me about when he explained the job. These stupid kids really have messed up big time. Must poke everything. Hey, look, the circle actually looks like the circle this time. That was the thing I pointed out in chapter one. Well, looky there. It's not because I said anything, of course, because chapter two had long since been out by then. But, you know, just uh, interesting. I'm not going to be able to leave the apartment, am I? You. What do you want? Okay, do you see now... Part of Azuriel, part of Azuriel's essence made it through the opening to the, I'm just going to call it the Abyss. We're just going to go with the Abyss. Ho Abusos. Can't understand you. What are you trying to say? I love this backwards speak stuff. It, it started with Helen Lancaster. Birch isn't to be trusted. Still nothing, kid. Get out of here. Scram. I'm only trying to help. I miss my mother. I'm so lonely. These little things give me the chills. Yeah, they, they're kind of meant to do that. I mean, there are worse things. Wait, I gotta go. Wait, isn't she still here? She's gonna be long dead. I told you she's gonna explode the moment I turn my back. Nope, she's alive. I'm back, saw your brother's body. It's horrible, I'm sorry. Robbie's dead, Andrew's dead, go on. There was a man here. He killed him. I don't know who. Gregory is next. I locked them up, nice and safe, nice and safe, nice and, hmm. She seems semi-conscious, must have been a side effect of the pills. What's this in her hand? Another key? It's for apartment 401. I have to see what is in apartment 401.
cousin it you've uh you've changed there's that hat head maybe hat head actually i don't know nope just a man with a beard hey you ah don't sneak up on somebody like that I wasn't making much effort to be quiet ah sorry i yelled i panicked are you gregory i'm here to help yeah and who are you how much trouble are we in a lot but that's not what i'm here for my name is don i'm just trying to figure out what's going on here why Irrelevant to our conversation. I'm an investigator, not the police. I'm not going to arrest anybody. Have you been locked in here all this time? Yeah. She locked me in and kept yelling at me. <clears throat> Excuse me, who? Lydia? Yeah, her. Yeah, her. Lydia. She said something about a man here. Did you see anybody else in this building? She did. There was some other kid who showed up here. I don't know what he was up to, but I think he might have been on drugs. <laughs> drugs? In this place? Really? Whatever would give you an idea like that? I mean, certainly not like the guy with the needle-covered floor downstairs. Yeah, ha. Huh. Well, we ended up fighting and he jumped out the window. He jumped? Are you sure? Fine, fine, I pushed him. Are you happy now? Not really, this job has been a bigger pain than I thought it would be and it really ain't worth the paycheck. So you killed a guy? I was trapped in here and it was him or me. What was I supposed to do? I'd have killed him too, don't worry. I'm not here to condemn you. That's so what now? It's time to get out of here. Normally, I'd keep questioning you here, but this building... Eh, never mind. Are you coming? We can talk more away from this place. Not yet. We can't go now. Why? I'm not leaving without destroying my notes. <laughs> Your notes? I dropped them out my window into the alley during the fight. What is it with you kids and throwing things out windows? I'm guessing you're too scared to get them? Absolutely. You've seen nothing until you've seen one of your friends stab himself to death while yelling at the top of his lungs. Besides, my leg is injured. I fell during the whole ordeal, and it's been sore ever since. Let's just go. I'll destroy your notes. No! Bring it up here, and we'll destroy both the notes and the circle next door together. Don't you trust me? Why should I? I only met you moments ago. All right. Be ready to leave when I get back, or I'm going without you. We'll destroy the evidence, then pick up Lydia and Marcus. Then we leave. Okay. Agreed. Thanks. Wait. Take these. Bolt cutters. Why do you have the... It's not like bolt cutters are a rare item. Why do people act so shocked when you have bolt cutters? But I work at a store that sells lots of bolt cutters. They're not rare. They're not expensive. I guess a lot of people just don't buy them, but they're not hard to get. We have little bolt cutters about this big, and then we've got the really big ones. I mean, we also have, you know pipe wrenches that are like four feet long but you know it's not that odd to have bolt cutters not where i come from i found them when i was looking through the cupboards i can see that the alley door is chained these might work well i'm going this way so lancaster is involved somehow this is good that means the plot's shocking i mean i knew they were going to connect but it's you know I love watching the lore unfold and just not having a clue where, th where things are going. The building was as real all along. These bolt cutters should work. Got it. Getting too old for this. Would have been nice to have a little chink sound effect. Or, ooh, hey, did you? What language are these notes written in? I've never seen it before. I'll ask Gregory to explain himself before anything else. Time to head upstairs and wrap things up. So this is the guy Gregory killed. Looks like he hit his head on the way down. Must have spun around a bit to crack his head on the bottom window. I'm curious. Who is he? Wallet has a driver's license in it. The name is... Gregory Peterson? This isn't good. Who did I speak to upstairs? Why is there an imposter here? Does that have something to do with Azuriel? It must. So Gregory died. Imposter got locked. Hi, birdie. Why would you shoot it? Crows are friends. They are adorable, loving, smart little birds. Well, some of them aren't so little, but they are adorable, smart, and loving birds, and they are not to be harmed. They are to be hugged and protected. Ravens, too. Ravens are adorable as well. They are different types of birds. She's unresponsive. I kind of expected the imposter to have, like, gone and... I don't know. I don't, I don't know what his motivation is. I should have saved first. Gregory, I've got your notes. Ah, that's great. Thank you. However, 
I've still got a job to do, so I need to hear what happened when Kyle stabbed himself. Uh, okay. Kyle started screaming and yelling about a demon being inside him. After that, he took out his knife and just started stabbing himself in the face. Kyle just kept screaming and screaming. It was horrifying. Mark said that you've all been friends for years. Well, a long time, yes. Funny that. The kid who stabbed himself? You'd think you'd remember his name if you're just such good friends. His name was Robbie. Uh, of course. Uh, sorry, my, my head is fuzzy. I haven't eaten in days. I found Gregory's body in the dumpster. Did you know he carries ID on him? Did you think I wouldn't check? So who are you? Hmm. Tell me everything and maybe I'll let you walk out of here alive. Uh, my, my name was Darren. Was. Was. That is not, that word doesn't go in that sense. Like, no. What do you mean, was? Exactly. Azuriel has promised to give me a new name, more fitting of a true believer. What are you talking about? I live in this building. I heard those kids messing about in here, and I went to take a look. They were performing some sort of ritual. It was bizarre. It was unnatural. But I could not watch from a distance. And then... The kid, Robbie, started stabbing himself and screaming like a complete lunatic. When he dropped to the ground, something changed in me. I felt a force come over me and a voice started speaking to me from within my own head. Azuriel. He promised me power and fortune if I could aid him. He wanted me to kill the rest of the teens, and so I began my hunt. Until that stupid girl locked me in here with one of them. And with your busted leg, you couldn't bust the door down. You tried. They're the sturdiest things in this place. So now here's a big question. Where do we go from here? You get out of my way and let me finish my task. I don't think so, kid. You'll do it or you'll suffer Azuriel's wrath too. Do it or else. No sudden movements, punk. I'm armed and you'll be a dead, a dead booger if you move an inch without me telling you to. <laughs> you really should have just shot him in the knee. Don't even warn him. Just pop his knee. He ain't going to be moving for a bit and it won't kill him. He'll have a limp for the rest of his life. Shattered kneecap is one of the most... Oh, they never heal back right. Somebody got shot. What happened upstairs? Nothing new in these parts, is it? Thought you were dead. What happened? Besides all the supernatural stuff, there was a guy upstairs pretending to be Gregory. The real Gregory fell to his death after the imposter pushed him from the window. No way, man. Poor Gregory. He was a good guy. Where's Lydia? Left her in the corridor by the stairs. We need to get out of here. I'll drive you both home, and then you're on your own. Okay. Thanks. Thought I was going to die in this room. Don't mention it. Let's go grab Lydia. You can carry her now. Leave me alone. Don't let Birch... Don't tell Birch anything. Get it in your head. I can't understand you. Leave me alone. I must leave. Goodbye, Mr. Edison. Who are you yelling at? Nobody, hurry up. She's heavy, man. I needed a break. So that's what happened. Crazy, right? Not sure if anyone would believe it, but I've got it all written down now. I reported back everything to Birch, but I left out a lot of the stuff about the Shadow Children. Something about them. It's like they were speaking directly to me and for only me to hear. Maybe they say something different to each person? I don't know. I'm getting into wild theories now. Birch knows more than he lets on. Those Scotsmen live in a place where there's plenty of ghosts. <laughs> no brain. Do not picture Birch as the Scotsman. Bad. And the Scotsmen live in a place with plenty of ghosts, don't they? Only the Deep South has that kind of stuff around here. I'll just go all with my life. Not much else to do. I've vented now, and that's that. Okay, so, a few things I want to take note of. One, the chapter two, I love that the circle on the floor actually matched, you know, pretty closely to the one that's on the screen. I understand the symbols and all couldn't fit, but the shape was there. The, you know, the multiple stars overlaid on each other. Really love that uh, attention to detail. Two, I love the, uh, the whole concept with the shadow children. The way the background music changed when they were there, the sound it made when they spoke, and having it backwards. I love that it was backwards instead of something that I actually had to go off screen and do a bunch of translating on. Uh, I did enjoy Environmental Station Alpha and the whole alien cipher thing, but once in a while it's nice to just have something that you can figure out on screen. 
Uh, the journal puzzle, I'm a little iffy on. Given that the game was happening in America, it should have dawned on me. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, on American calendars, we go month, day, year. On European calendars, they do day, month, year. So it would be October 3rd, 1986, or 3rd of October, 1986. Uh, this is mainly only a problem when you do the complete number dating, where you do like 3, 3 10, 1986, because 3-10-1986 uh, would, to me, be March 10th, 1986, uh, whereas to somebody in the UK, that would be October 3rd, or 3rd of October, 1986. Uh, there's some ambiguity when you just use the numbers, which the game didn't do that. Uh, I just mean, but since I had to convert it to numbers for the puzzle, uh, the problem I see is that at least for me, I latched onto the exact word for word that the that the journal had it because I took that to be part of the clue. Three ten eighty six. Uh, so having to switch it to ten three threw me off. Uh, but I do like that. That's a nice attention to detail, and you know, given that. Given the location, having the combination fit the American calendar style, but I question why the people writing their journals aren't writing their journals with the American dating style where he would have put October 3rd, 1986. Uh, minor critique there, but overall, love it. Uh, I'm really... I like... I have a lot of questions about the plot. I know the third, fourth, and fifth chapters will address these questions, and I'm looking forward to it greatly. I love that the game had its has its own separate bubble, but there are aspects that are tying back to the first one. Uh, I'm sure each one will tie and connect, and when I finish all five, they will piece together into this glorious puzzle. But, you know, of course, we're only at chapter two. Next week, I'll do chapter three, then chapter four. If any of them get to be too long, I will break them apart into separate episodes. Uh, originally, I was aiming at this one to be 30 minutes, but then I just kept thinking I was almost at the end. And it's still under right at an hour. But if it got too much beyond that, then I would break it into you know multiple pieces. But for now, I really, really have to uh, say I'm enjoying it. Uh, chapter one is free on both Game Jolt's, well, Game Jolt Steam and Itch.io. I don't have as much experience with Itch.io, so I forget to mention it. Uh, and the Steam versions, chapters two, three, and four are two dollars a piece, or if you get them as a bundle, you get them for a dollar fifty a piece. So you end up saving, you know, in the long run. When chapter five comes out, I don't know if they'll bundle that and then do a discount thing there too. But the game dev has mentioned that sometime this summer he'd like Chapter 5 to come out. And I do fully intend on playing it when we get there. But for now, this concludes Azuriel Circle Chapter 2 next week, Chapter 3. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here, and I will see you next time.